Hey, Carl here, founder of Fit Family 24-7, and welcome to my office. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what's better, strength training or cardio for burning fat, right? It seems like a never-ending conversation or battle back and forth of if you wanna get lean, if you wanna get fit, what's better? Do you do more cardio or do you do, you do more uh, strength training to make that happen? So stay with me for the next few minutes and we will go into some of the answers for you. Uh, and actually, I just, I'm referencing an article off livestrong.com, so uh, go there to learn more about this, but I just read it, so I want to share it with you because it's fantastic. So I think one of the things that people get sold on, I don't even know where they get sold on this idea, but they get sold on the idea that cardio burns fat, cardio gets you in shape, okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with cardio, right? Cardio, when I say cardio, it means you know, cardiovascular exercises, so uh, running or the elliptical, typical things at the gym, stair climber. I mean, even playing sports can be cardio activity, like playing basketball or swimming, right? It's not so much strength based, like a power lifter, but it's more of a long endurance type of activity or like bicycling, right? That's another one. Um, and so uh, we have to learn how to strength train, right? We just do cardio naturally, just as kids running around, we're playing, but strength training, you almost have to learn uh, how to do it and so it can be a little bit intimidating and I think the persona that gets built up is uh, if you lift weights you're gonna get huge like you're gonna get bulky right so we're gonna talk about if that's true or not here in just a second but I'm gonna give you four reasons uh, why uh, strength training can actually be better than cardio at burning fat so it might be kind of surprising for you okay now uh, the number one reason why you can burn more fat with strength training is because when you strength train you're pushing your muscles beyond what they normally do. And what that does is it literally creates micro tears in the fibers and your body has to repair those micro tears. And when it repairs it, it, it gets stronger, right? You, you not only do that, but you align the nervous signals in your muscles too to work more in alignment. And that also gives you more strength. And so you feel stronger when you actually do weight training. And when you do that, you build your lean body mass up right, your healthy weight, and that actually directly impacts your metabolism. That increases your metabolism, which is what we want. And what does that mean? That just means when you're sitting around, laying around, or doing what you do every single day, you're burning more calories, right? Your fire is burning hotter when you have a higher metabolism. So your lean muscle mass gives you more of that, gives you a higher metabolism, right? And when you strength train or, or use resistance training, you actually build more muscle mass than when you do cardio. So that's the first thing. You know, and I think the second thing is a lot of times, like I kind of touched on before, a lot of times people think that, uh, especially women, if you do uh, strength training, you're going to get big and bulky like a man or become more manly. And that's just not true. If uh, you want to be more manly and build big muscles, right, it, it, it kind of really hard for the majority of females because they don't have the natural uh, hormones and the natural uh, components in their bodies to make it to really get bulky. So really what we see with females that start working out with more resistance and weight training is they just get leaner, they get more fitter. So if you're looking for more of a lean, fit, athletic look, right, kind of like the new yoga look is how the uh, girls are looking now is this is the perfect thing. Weight training, resistance training, it will make that happen for you, okay? So don't worry about, you know, people saying you're gonna get bulky or worrying about getting in bulky, you're lifting weights, you're gonna get huge, right? It takes years of hard work and eating very specific ways and working out very specific ways to, to do that. And so it's just really not reality for 99.9% of the women out there. So don't worry about that, okay? If you wanna burn more calories, then do strength training. Uh, in addition, strength training really builds up your athleticism, right? A lot of times we talk about functional movements, talk about, you know, why do you work out? You know, we get told, you know, you just know that you're supposed to do it, right? Well, why? It makes you healthier, right? Well, why does it, like, what does it do for you exactly? And the way we like to look at it is if you can make it easier for you to do the things you do every single day anyways, more functional, then it's a huge win, right? So strength training a lot of times just makes you more functional in doing the things you're doing anyways every single day. So it's amazing for your athleticism, it's amazing for increasing your flexibility, if you incorporate uh, stretching in your uh, regimen program, right? Um, but really, you wanna stop isolating uh, sing uh, isolated movements, you wanna stop doing that, like uh, single muscle movements, you wanna do compound movements where you're working more muscles at once, things like the squat, the deadlift, the power clean, more of these compound movements 
And if you're not really sure what that means, no problem. Just you know, find someone locally in your town, a uh, trainer, and they can do a few sessions with them and they can teach you more what the compound movements are. But you're gonna burn more calories that way and you're gonna become more athletic, more fit, and the things you do on a daily basis are gonna become easier for you, which is awesome. Okay, last thing is that, you know, a lot of times when people try and get fit, they default to running, okay? And there's nothing wrong with running. Running is great, right? It has a lot of health benefits to it. Um, but again, if we're talking about creating that fit look, creating a functional uh, approach to your fitness, to your health, right? Weight training typically creates more, moves more in that direction than, than just running does, okay? Look at a sprinter, okay? Here's a little imagery for you. Look at a Olympic sprinter versus an Olympic long distance runner and look at which person looks more healthy, right? Now again, I'm not saying anything negative about runners, right? Love running, running's great. But if you want the fit, look, a sprinter is like, is chiseled, is ripped, uh, is very lean, is very athletic, uh, and that's really what happens when you train in that way. When you do long distance running, you start to create more of the running physique. Okay, so anyways, we won't get into that. That's a whole nother topic, but you know, running isn't always the best way to get fit. It definitely helps and you should definitely do it if you want to build up your cardiovascular endurance. But uh, strength training is a great, great way to go. So anyways, just wanted to have a quick chat with you, talk about, you know, the benefits of strength training uh, versus cardio because a lot of times we get confused with those two things. We want to get in shape, but we do cardio all the time. It doesn't always give us the results we want, so we get frustrated. So anyways, wanted to clear up some things for you on that. Hopefully the video helps. If you want more awesome videos like this, Make sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash fitfamily247 or on Instagram and our handle is fit.family.247. So we'll be making a whole bunch more stuff for you on there. So follow, check us out on that. And if you have any questions, message us on our Facebook page and we'll help you in any way we can.